And no wonder Mayweather keeps calling himself the best boxer who ever lived. You try topping 200 million smackers just to show up for a fight, and you'd say the same. But does the money make the champ or the champ all that money? Because if you're counting inflation-adjusted fight purses and dollars, you can't leave out this next fellow in any of those all-time champ lists. George Foreman, the multiple heavyweight champion of the world, whose memorable fights with the likes of Joe Frazier, Muhammad Ali, Ken Norton, I could go on and on, aren't only the stuff of boxing legend, but all-time mega money sports legends as well. What's more, George has now made more money post-fighting than he did when he was fighting, which is why all the other fighters hate him. Um, George, good to have you. Thanks I'm for coming. Great to be Great with to you. See you. Thank you. Um, all right, first off on this fight, who wins? I, I think I always get a fight to the underdog. He's got something to believe in. He's got to be tricky. He can't play the part of a fool. And boxing was invented, the art of self-defense. And that's why I, I think Pacquiao can win six rounds, one even, and the rest going to uh, Mayweather in the latter rounds. Really? Uh, because normally the argument is if it's a decision, it always tends to favor that's the champ. you got to nab the title from him. you got to take it from him right. decisively. And then... Who's champion this time, though? I mean, they're both Yeah, champions. you're right. Both you're champions. Right. Do you buy now? I'm the wrong guy mask us. They are, the argument is in their late 30s, they're too old to be doing No, this is the right time. Your yeah. muscles are developed. You got your appetite right. You're not going for the uh, slow, uh, slow horses and fast women anymore. You can get some rest at night. This is the best time. You might go for slow women. And, uh, <laughs> well, I, 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 all right, so. Well, no, no, you, you're not going for the. <laughs> I understand. It's a family show. <laughs> uh, well, let me ask you this. I'm thinking of the purse involved here. 100 million for Pacquiao, 200 million for Mayweather. When it's that much money, and I know you weren't dealing with that much money, but, you know, in inflation adjusted dollars, you were dealing with big money when you're fighting the likes of Ali and you're fighting the likes of Frazier and all these big names, and you didn't duck anybody. Um, does it make you fight as hard if you're going to get so much money just for walking in the ring? And you think you would not, but once that bell ring, and I've gone home after a loss for five million dollars, more money than I thought existed, even twelve million. Oh, yeah. But with a loss, you st it hurts you, it hurts you, and it never stops hurting you. But if it's so hundred million fight, just for showing up, you know. it, you've got to fight. Really? You wish you could just go in there and say, "I'll take the money," but it hurts if you lose. Mayweather would suffer badly if he loses this fight. Right. You can't face yourself. You really, oh, I got the money. You don't even want to go to the bank and let the people see you. Yeah. Now, uh, do you think it's being overly hyped, though, that, you know, all the rooms are sold out in Vegas and they're, they're selling, uh, you know, seats now for 250 grand if you want to get your hands on one? Uh, that's a little crazy. That's the way the world is now yeah. with all of the social media and all of the uh, instant uh, Instagram and all of that. It's big. If it had happened five years previously, previous to this, it wouldn't be that big. I'm glad it's big like that. It can only happen right now. Yeah. You know, I had Mayweather on this show not too long ago, right. George. And the first thing that struck me, I knew he was a great athlete, right. like boxer, etc. He's not a big guy. And that's when it hit me. Where are the super heavyweight champs? Because I could take out Mayweather. Actually, that's not true. He's not here. Is he? uh, <laughs> but you know what I mean? But my thought of it was, where are the days when you ruled the roost, when Muhammad Ali ruled the roost, when it was one champ, one division, you know? This fight being so big tells you how hungry, especially the United States is for a heavyweight. Yeah, but it also we need tells a world you champion where are the heavyweights? Right here. They've disappeared. Yeah. We're trying to dig one up, but it's a hard thing. We were really in a good place at one time with all those champions, Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier, George Foreman, you name them. I we mean, now those are the golden years. Good. They really were, but we don't have that now. And we I wonder need, if it's because to come back. everything's divided. We have WBA, WBC, NBA, NBC. You know what I mean? It's too many wacky divisions. And yeah. it, you can blame a lot of things, but they just aren't hungry fighters anymore. Is that right? No, they're going out playing things like basketball, yeah, yeah. football, and all of that. We, they'll come back now with 100, possibly 180 million made by uh, Pacquiao and Mayweather. The big guys are going to come out of the bush. Yeah, um, I, my prediction is I don't know Mayweather or Pacquiao very well outside of say I don't I do know in the past with rare exceptions these guys lose their money you didn't you built on it I think Larry Holmes did as well um, but it's rare Boy. not just like you I mean you went into the grill thing now you've got this online 
Uh, you got to keep earning. But you, yeah, you just can't go to bed and say, look, I got a hundred million and expect to wake up the next day with a hundred million. I mean, you're going to have a hundred million things to buy with a hundred million dollars. Did you feel an obligation? You were very generous. You mm -hmm. were like Mike Tyson generous with your handlers and friends. And yeah. Anyone with a good sob story. You were very generous. You got to be and being a preacher. You were. See, I wouldn't. I keep it all. And I even <laughs> tell my kids, you're not getting squat. Uh, but where do you draw the line to keep track of your money, George, just so that you don't lose it? You know what you do? You just don't draw the line, but tell yourself, I must keep earning. You just can't live on what, what, what I had last year. You got to keep earning. And as long as you earn, you can always be generous. But once you stop earning, you can no longer be generous. And that's what a lot of athletes your kids don't realize. And grandkids now start telling you, Pop, pay dirt time. We've yeah. seen the revenues on the Foreman Grill. Uh -huh. And now you got this online butcher shop, right? Oh, yeah. The, the best the meat in the world. Grass fed yeah. Uh, cows, uh, meat will be served all over the country with no steroids, no antibiotics, and all of the things that's making us sick. A piece of meat that you can trust. And chicken as Is well. Is it more expensive than meat you get in the grocery store? No, we're going to go out and beat everything going. We find out who's no, you selling beat what. beat customers into buying it or yeah. beat everything? No, we see a price of something like a ribeye steak. Yeah. If it's there, if it's quality, because these are from USDA Black Angus cows, we're going to have the best flavor for meat. And if someone's selling it for $2, we're going to beat that price because we want it delivered to your home so that you can invite people over and say, let's do it again. That's pretty cool. How do you decide what to put your name behind? Because your name is golden. That's and hard. obviously one bad product, it can be tarnished. How do you decide? And people ask you all the time, how much do you invest in these things, George? No, your name. That's about all you have. You put your name right. in something, it better work. Because people are, so are you, you, you like love baseball. The you get three you strikes and, and you out. That, that grill, it knocked them out, didn't it? Yeah. Could you make one that goes the other way so the fat returns to the meat? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, no. That's, that's, uh, don't do that. George, don't do that. it is a pleasure to see you. He, he is as nice in person as he is when you see him on the air. And uh, talks to, says hello to everybody. I don't admire that quality, but <laughs> many do. Many do. George, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for inspiring us, keeping it real. When we come back.